Howdy, name is Dave, channel is TXW5CSM. Real quick, wanted to take you through the torque specifications required to mount the Full Field TAC 30 by Burris, along with the ARPEPR mount and the Fast Fire 3. This all came as a kit. I did an open unboxing review on it a few days ago if you want to go back and take a look at it. So the torque specifications required from bottom to top. The main Picatinny rail uh, nuts are torqued at 65 inch pounds. Everything is in inch pounds. So these two lower bolts, uh, these nuts that you adjust, will go into the, uh, the appropriate slots based on your eye relief requirements back here on the rear portion of the scope depending on what your cheek weld is on the rifle appropriately set it on the Picatinny rail and then torque it to 65 inch pounds. Above that, the clamps where the mount itself, there are six along either side, six on this side and six along this side. If you're going to apply some type of Loctite or double check the torque on it, you are going to have to remove the uh, Fast Fire 3 from the top. You'll have to remove this nut here. And again, these 3, 6, 12 are rated at uh, 20 inch pounds. So 65 inch pounds, 20 inch pounds. For the mount onto the upper Picatinny rail, you're going to use, uh, the calibration is 18 to 24. I had uh, my fat wrench already set to 20 inch pounds. That was right in the middle, so I used 20 inch pounds. Now to attach the Fast Fire 3 onto the uh, mount itself, there are two screws. One is right in there, one is right in there next to the battery compartment. See the battery compartment right there. So these two screws, again if you're going to apply Loctite, and you will torque those down to 18 to 24. So I used 20 inch pounds on these two after I applied the Loctite. I used 20 inch pounds on the mini Picatinny rail on the upper portion. I used 20 inch pounds on all of the 12 rings. And then I used 65 inch pounds to attach the mount itself, being the uh, ARP PR mount, to the Picatinny rails. Just wanted to talk you through that real quick and uh, let you know that here soon I'm going to get out, get these things zeroed, and get the uh, final review done on this rifle so that. Joe Chetwood and the guys up at uh, Crusader Weaponry show their emblem upside down at uh, Crusader Weaponry out of uh, Murray, Utah can get the uh, the full benefit of my review on this rifle and again kinda happy that the uh, cover came with it so apply that on there very good come on make a video it's not that hard knowledge is only power when it's shared